And joining us on News Now to give more insights on the polls is the chairman of the Lagos State Chapter of the PDP, DG Doherty. Thanks for joining us. This is Mr. Doherty, can you hear us? Yes, I think I can hear you now. Thanks for joining us and welcome to News Now very well. All right, so let's quickly talk about the uh, elections today. Uh, tell us your thoughts quickly. Well, my, uh, my thoughts is not different from what I said earlier today. Um, the turnout was um, shocking. It was um, really uh, very bad for democracy. Today is one of the darkest days in my 23, 24 years in politics. Uh, today seems to be a day where, uh, like Baba Jide, some of you said, our governor, uh, that um, people expressed themselves. They expressed themselves by not showing up at the polls. They expressed themselves uh, by them staying at home, by them not coming to the polling units, uh, by them showing that they do not believe in the system anymore. They do not believe in uh, uh, um, the, the umpires of the council elections anymore. Um, you, you, I'm very happy that the governor mentioned that, that there was a low turnout. Now, we are the opposition party. And being the opposition party, you, if you follow the, the, uh, the, the different um, uh, various um, black spots that we have in Lagos State, the crisis had started since last night. As of this morning, I probably went to bed maybe at about 4.30. Koshofe was already boiling. And um, Oshodia Isola was already boiling. Um, um, Amu Odofin was already boiling. Uh, and then some parts of Agege, they had, even in Agege, they had started at about three, uh, on they had started shooting as of Thursday. You, you understand? So it is my duty and the duty of we as leaders of the party to make sure that Lagos State stays peaceful. Lagos State does not lose its youth because of politics. Lagos State does not erupt the whole country into flames. All right. Um, and that was what we tried to, that was what we tried to uh, manage today. All right, Mr. You Doherty, know, uh, I, I want to I want to quickly... There okay, was so much irregularities right from the distribution of, sen uh, of sensitive materials up to the polling unit, up to the um, collection of the results. Thank you. All right. I, I was going to you know, quickly ask about uh, irregularities that you may have uh, noticed. Um, but I, I, I want to speak about the PDP now. Do you, you've mentioned about the low turnout. Um, and you said that that is the way that the people have expressed, you know, their feelings towards uh, the electoral process. But do you think it's also a failure of the PDP to, you know, enlighten uh, residents about voting? Do you think it's also, you know, uh, evidence that the PDP has also failed to um, g show people why they should vote for their candidates, maybe? Uh, because if nobody's interested, it, it maybe is because the, both parties and every other party that uh, contested in the elections has failed to you know show people good enough reasons why they should come out and ensure that they vote for their candidates so do, do you think the pdp also failed in that regard well the, the pdp is number one the pdp is an opposition party number two the pdp does not have the wherewithal to act like a um uh, like a uh, uh like a, to take charge of the publicity of this election. That is the job of, number one, the state government, number two, LASEC, headed by Justice Phillips. You understand? I had said it at the different forums that uh, Justice Phillips and her team should gear up in uh, synthesizing the, the, the populace, especially the traditional rulers. The traditional rulers, as far as the ballots and who are concerned, cannot just be coming to stakeholders meeting. They need to be engaged financially, socially, and in every other way. The, the, uh, also, the religious bodies, they need to be engaged. These are the areas that, uh, that uh, we could use as, uh, as a stepping stone towards connecting with the electorate. 
Now, as far as PDP is concerned, it is our job, it has always been our job to protect the democracy that we ushered into this country. You understand? And that is why we seem to take the raw end of the stick. Today, I had to tell those in Ushodistolo, they should stand down. I had to tell those in Koshofe, they should stand down. I had to tell those in Agege, they should stand down. But this cost us. It cost us, you know, in terms of we winning or losing. You understand? Right. And at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense. The people have taken their stand. Their stand is they do not believe in those, the umpires of this election. That is just a simple thing. It's not really an issue of PDP or uh, the opposition party uh, being liable or anything. The, those that have been governing the state for the past 20 something years are the ones that are responsible. They are responsible for us to come out. They are responsible for the low turnout. They are responsible for the rigging. They are responsible for the uh, for for everything that comes out. All right, as far you, as PDP Darcy. is concerned, we are just coming there. Our people are supposed to come there to come and vote. But if we start telling our people to come out and they say, look, your vote isn't going to, uh, our vote for you isn't going to count. Let us sit down at home instead of being in the sun and then it gets to the collective center and then they change the vote. That is what they're saying today. All right, so no, Mr. Do? Doherty. And that's why you see multiple, 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 quadruple, uh, 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 thumb printing all over the entire state by the APC. All right, Mr. Doherty, um, we hope that we can uh, bring you back during the week so we can speak about uh, these um, uh, allegations that you've put out, you know, concerning Reagan, and also talk very likely on the relevance of uh, the local government level of, you know, the local government basically and the local council, uh, which might also be one of the reasons a lot of people didn't show up. Um, show up. But we'll talk about it sometime during the week. Uh, thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you very much. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.